Well, hello, it's brew night. Brew night at the OK Corral. Um, a bit of pale ale, mosh pit I'm calling it. Um, it's a bit of a put together brew. It's what I've got left over. Simcoe, Chinook, Hercules, and ooh, ooh. And I'm dry hopping with Mosaic and Chinook. So it's gonna be quite a hoppy one, but it's a pale ale. Um, so yeah, so I'm nearly up to temperature on the HLT, I'm at 77 degrees. So it should start clicking off, so, and then I'm going to mash in. So, I've got a step temperature at uh, 68.9. <clears throat> the uh, PID is pulsed at the moment. The light's going on and off, there it is in the middle. Uh, 66.1, 66.2, so it's still rising. So it's taking the heat out of the water in the uh, mash, in the um, herm, sorry. Uh, so let's see what it stops at. So that'll come on in a second. Hopefully, so I've still got two degrees to go. And it's just come on. Uh, the herm's temperature rises rapidly as it heats the water in, in herms the picture then transfers that into the water so let's see, let's see what it stops at These PRDs just look so much better. These ones, the uh, you look at if you're quite tall like me, you look at an angle, you can just see it. Look at that one angle, you can see it. But you can see the one that's face on. Now come on at 68.7. Let's see. Let's see if it goes over on this one. The worst thing is I've got to go out. I'm going to pick up my daughter, so I'm going to be gone for the best part of an hour. It's working, it's doing its stuff. So there or thereabouts a degree, sort of half a degree each side. So I'm pleased with it anyway. That's pretty successful. Because the other PID is going 40 degrees over. The old mesh is uh, recirculating. Please. Happy days. Well, just got back from picking up my daughter from rugby. She's been rugby in training. She's hurt her bloody hand. Someone stamped on her on her hand. Got a stud right there, so she's happy. She's now having a bit of cake. So, um, yeah, the old uh, it hasn't boiled over at least. I've just come in. It's a 69.4 at the moment. So it's holy well. The herbs just come on. It's preempting a dip, obviously. But anyway, so yeah, it's. It's holding well. Here, come on for five seconds. We're off again. So it's working perfectly. Great. Very happy. Very, very happy. Um, lovely. Right. Is that blonde? Look at that. Lovely and clear now. Lovely and clear. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Pleased with it. So this has been in the keg now for two weeks. Cracking head. That's been poured for probably five or ten minutes now. So lovely. The first taste in had a bit of an off taste. That's gone. Obviously it's conditioned. Been sitting in the keg for yeah for two weeks now. What I am going to do is start on the board. 
when I do certain brews, when I keg it, things like that. So, because at the moment I'm, I'm, I'm relying on old uh, brain matter or grey matter or whatever it's bloody called, and I forget. So, this mosh pit, pale ale, obviously brew day today, target as well, so, 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 so. I'm going to keep it up there for reference because it's just makes life easier for people, including me. Well, just me. Like that. that IPA's going on as well. Uh, I've got to get some in bottles before I drink it all. I will do whatever's left this weekend. I'll get some IPA in the bottle. I'll bottle a couple of these just to see what it's like in the future in the next few weeks. Um, I'll see if I can improve on things. So I've got plenty of bottles. I've got, I picked up these early at a party. A few growlers. So two little growlers. So I use these, use these at Christmas. Got a star sign in at the moment. I've uh, got three of them. So parties, take six litres of beer. Lovely. 69.7, please, very, very pleased. Very, very pleased with that as well. Only windy out there tonight. So Friday night, I got home from work and I thought, Joe, what bollocks to it? I've got a brew at the weekend. I'm out tomorrow night. My mate's coming over from America. Lives in America, works for Adidas. I don't see him very often, I haven't seen him for a couple of years, so I'm going to get him drunk. and get myself drunk while I'm at it. But yeah, so we're going out tomorrow night. So we'll get this out of the way t tonight. Then I don't have to get up in the morning early, I can do whatever I like tomorrow. We'll cut the grass, seed the grass, I can seed the grass this year. Loads of things I need to do. But... Right, I'm sparging. PID, impeccable, absolutely fantastic. Not a problem, absolutely. It run over by 1.2 degrees at the highest and underrun by 0.8. Joe you know what? I'm more than pleased. Joe, you know I'm so pleased with that. It's, that has been doing my head in for so long. So, HLT off, so sit at 77 degrees, which should be 31.02 litres at 10.45. So, see what we do. I'm having another one. I'm pleased with myself. Um, I have purchased, purchased, a cheap pH beater. Um, I've calibrated it with the old buffer solution to 6.86. Also, I'm aiming by 5.4. Five point two even, sorry. It's a pale. Five point three. That's for you. So pH is great. pH looks good. I know it's a cheap one. I know it's a cheap one, but Joe, what? Money's tight at the moment. What bloody holiday to pay for? Uh, right. I'm gonna start water profiling soon. I have to. My water is so hard it's ridiculous i think it's got 300 and 300 and something odd parts per million of calcium and 63 milli, uh, parts per million of magnesium that is ridiculous it's so quite ridiculous i can't enter my water into um beer smith and get any sort of additions for any beer it's a bit of a <laughs> joe what i'm i'm not happy with it because the water's so hard around it's ridiculous. I've seen ridiculous about four times now. Um, so what I'm going to do, I think at the moment, well not at the moment, is obviously just suffer. Um, reverse osmosis. That's the, you know, the only thing I can do and then start adding salts. Let's say it's just a joke. My water is a joke. So I actually am pleased with my beer that I make. But I just think to myself, if my water's that hard, how better can my beer be? That's what I'm thinking, obviously, with um, salts. I'll have pour myself an IPA, I think. Mm. Well, I'm just finishing the sparge. Pour myself an IPA. This is the skid mark. <coughs> it's clear as buggery. Yeah. 
cracking head on it. Absolutely fantastic. Hops, mosaic hops. Bloody lovely that one. That's a cracking one. Right, second element on. I'm sitting at 69 degrees at the moment. 31 litres is the top of that. Top of the uh, <coughs> valve. So, I know what I'm looking for. That's good. That is good. Do you know what? That's a winner. Mosaic Galaxy. Obviously, you're going to close the door. Keep the uh, keep the zombies out. Uh, Galaxy Hops. Absolutely fantastic. I love Galaxy. You can't get it anyway. You can get it, but do you know what? Mosaic is my new Galaxy. Um, this brew here. I had a, a beer called Moab, Mother of All Beers, um, and it was a Galaxy based, well, heavy hopped Galaxy Palo. Um, I think it's got 120 grams in it. Uh, in total, it's about 65 gram dry hop. Um, this, I've rejigged it, same, same grain bill, different hops. I've done 15 gram Simcoe, 60 bit ball. Uh, 30 gram Chinook at 10 minute boil, 10 grams of Hercules. These are these are all a. Um, I did get them from. I got them from uh, Harry. These I repackaged them. I played with the old uh, thing. Hercules. I paid two quid for these for 100 grams. A 19 percent IBU. So um, I'll give a bash. So I've got uh, a 10 gram Hercules Whirlpool for 20 minutes. Um, and then for dry hop, 55 grams of mosaic, which is all I've got left, and 10 grams of chinook. So, and again, it's going to be another quite hoppy pale ale. Maybe the last dregs are coming out. Um, so it looks like I'm going to be right on the uh, on the money for the um, volume. Um, Steve Molson sent me a, a thank you the day the other day on Facebook on BrewTube on the on the um, to site on, on Facebook about the inline extractor. Um, they're brilliant. They've got a right old drawer. I think it's great. Uh, he paid eleven ninety nine for his. I think I paid about twelve pound fifty for mine. His looks actually better than mine. So yeah, all you do is it inline. It's just that's just exiting into a a um, thing outside. A weather thing. It's not the obviously rain coming in. And as someone said to me, Robbie, the robot arm just drops through the pot. I don't get any, I don't get any drippage back into the pot. So I see inside there is nice and warm. You can feel that's nice and warm. So there's not any condensation. Um, and also the air goes in. And up. Perfect. I'm just hitting the boil now. So I've just put my first lot of hops in. Uh, I had a near old boil over. Didn't happen, so it was good. Right, 10.45 I'm aiming for. 31 litres. Uh, I'm sitting there, I'm dead on 31 litres. Maybe half a litre under. So, 11 and a half bricks. Cheers. 10.46. So I'm spot on. 10.45 I'm aiming for. So, it's just started by say I expect 10.46 is great. So, we're on the money. Oh, the second IPI as well. Sixty-five gram dry hop in a twenty-three litre. That's going to be gorgeous. That is going to be bloody gorgeous. Gorgeous. That's my dry hop. Lovely. So. 10 grams of Hercules. So I can't, can't remember what these smell like. They're high enough for us, it's a 19.
hands on a whirlpool. Joe, you know give it a try. Give it a try. But knowing you're as citrusy as um, quite woody. Mm. Do you know what? They might with, with a heavy dry hop. They might add a little bit of a yeah. So I've got a nice old boil going, sitting at 100 degrees. Right, I'm steeping now the uh, 10 grams of Hercules. I'll have to admit something, I'm a little bit drunk. I'm a little bit drunk. Uh, I thought it was Paddy's Day and I'm a Celt, Cornish Celt, but I'm a Celt. Any excuse. Uh, I'm on my fourth. That's the IPA. Uh, two blue blondes as well. I mean, the IPA is 6.7. So, currently at 70 degrees. I started steeping at 80 degrees, so I'm going to start chilling soon. Very pleased, very, very pleased with the PID, the, the Inkbird PID. It's the uh, uh, ITC 100 VH, if anybody's interested. There are four models. One's 240 volts, but um, the output is 240. One's 240, and output is 12 volt. That's for the. That's what I've got the VH. That's for SSR. One's 24 volt input with. I don't know. Anyway, it's a VH model. Uh, there's four types. Finally got it working, so I can literally put the mash on and walk away. Because normally I'll be sitting over it, sitting over it. And I'll see, I went to pick up my daughter. I was gone three quarters of an hour to an hour. Came back, it's about three quarters of an hour, maybe 50 minutes. Came back, still sitting there at 69 degrees. Brilliant. And that's what I want. Something I can rely on. Brewing's lovely, I love brewing, but it's just nice to have a little break in the middle. Especially, you know, like today, Mrs. isn't very well. She's got chicken pox. Mrs. isn't feeling very well. She's got the pox, she's got the bloody lurdy, lurgy, and she's riddled. So she's got chicken pox, she's not very well. Um, daughter needs picking up, she's got a bloody hand, she got stamped on her hand. Playing rugby, by the way. Um, so, perfect timing with a mash. An hour and a quarter mash in the end. I lost nearly six litres. Um, on a boil. But I'll, I'll stick some water into the uh, into the fermenter afterwards. Also noticed that um, Tom has started um, attaching his STC 1000 um, thermo probe to the fermenter. I used to do that. Um, for whatever reason, I stopped doing it. I don't know. But you know what? I'll start doing it again. Just the fact that I've noticed, they've noticed that. I, mean, I know Harry had a shitty fucking brood. Um, he tipped his away in the end. Um, so that was the war paint, the war paint IPA. Um, so I'm going to start attaching it again. I've never had any problem with off, with off taste or anything like that. Maybe I just can't taste them. But I'm going to start again. Right, I'm going to start cooling now. I'm at 66 degrees. Water on. Pump on. Oh, 65 in, in the kettle. Coming out, it's going to be cooler, a lot cooler. I can feel it's cooler already. Uh, where's my thermometer? Around 27. You know, water's fairly clear, which is good. About 25 now. Good enough for me, Batman. Let's see. What sort of strength we got? Right, we are sitting at 15 bricks. 10.61. I'll take it back to 10.53. So. There's some water going to go in. I collect 20 litres. <coughs> 21 and a half. I'm looking.
vacuum four. 10.53, which is about 13 and a quarter, which is there. Alright, so we've got 21 and a half litres, so a litre and a half less. To be honest, that's what I was expecting. So, right. Right, let's go in for a minute now. Um, See so how it goes. I'll see you soon. <laughs>